guys how's everybody doing hope everybody's having a great day today i'm having a fabulous day you guys already know it's grandma so you know it's kitchen talk time wow this month is almost over with guys i mean it we're into the last few days of the month and it's just crazy it seems like these days are just flying by even faster than than the normal so it's crazy, but the weather's been great. So I hope you guys had a chance to get out and get the weather. I got up this morning and um, went to the gym, did my workout and all that because today is actually dad and I anniversary. Yeah. I don't even know exactly how many years because, you know, I've said it before. Dad and I uh, got married in 81 and like 17 years later, we 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 actually get, did the D words, but that didn't even last six months and we remarried on the same day, uh, less than six months later. So I don't even count that little time because it wasn't even a year that we was um, separated and all that. So we actually been together, we got married in 81, but we've been together since I was 16, which was in 78, 79, 78, 78, because I graduated in 80. So it's been a long time. I've been with this man over half of my life, over half. I mean, it's been some good times, some bad times, up the mountain, down the mountain, down in the peeps, but overall, I would say that I am blessed and it's been a really great ride, a really great journey I have been on with dad and hopefully he feels the same way because you know like now we're at the stage where I mean all that other nonsense that we used to do and go through and you know the arguing and the fussing and all that, we don't do none of that now. I mean, we were at the age. I mean, dad is, is up up in age, like late 60s. I'm right behind him in early 60s. It's not even worth it. And we don't even have the energy to do it. You know, if we do, if I do say something crazy or he say something crazy, we look at each other, we just start laughing. I mean, seriously, we just look at each other and I'd be like, that's the dumbest shit I ever heard. And he'll look at me and be like, that don't make no sense. You just nuts. You just nuts. That's what he tells me. But it's all good. I mean, we really have gotten past, you know, but I, like I said, this is 40 plus years right here. This union is over 40 years, almost 46, 47 years. You know, our, our oldest is, is 44. And, you know, it's, it's just been a, a great ride. I could not have chosen a better um, partner, provider, father, grandfather, a friend, uh, all that, husband. I, I could not. I mean, and really, I didn't really, really choose dad. Um, I tell the story all the time, especially when it's around our anniversary my brother and dad was, was good friends you know they went to school together they was high school together and that's how they met same grade good friends and all that then they grew up and they both went in the military and went their separate ways and whenever they would come home you know they would look each other up to see if they're home and visit each other and this particular summer of 78 um my brother was home on on vacation and Greg happened to be home on vacation. He actually came over to my sister's house is where I lived looking for my brother Suge and um, yeah I don't know I think it was something like I walked by and they was outside and Suge was doing his normal thing you know get, laughing and being crazy and he was like what's up chicken head and I was like, whatever, and uh, I think if I remember the story right, Greg asked him, who is that? And he was like, that's Tony. You know Tony? You know, and he was like, huh? He he, he was shocked because I had filled out. I was not the little skinny girl that I was the last time he saw me, this little old skinny girl with no type of nothing, just up and down, skinny girl. 
So that's how we got together. And, and because of my brother, and he told me, he was like, no, you know, he's a good dude. Greg is a good dude. He actually told me he better than any of these other knuckleheads running around here. So if, if you know, you should give him a shot. You should holler at him, you know, give him a shot. And I did. And that's that's how we came. But yeah, um, we don't really, ha I haven't really made any plans uh, for today. We'll probably, you know, once I get done talking to you guys, we'll probably um, go and have um, some lunch or something, or maybe wait till later. Because, like I said, I got up, I don't went to the gym, I don't went and bowl, and I just got out the shower. So I probably just rest for a few, and then, you know, if we don't, you know, do lunch, we'll probably go out later this evening and do, um, you know, do dinner or something like that. I mean, we're not, neither one of us is the type that, that, that it's got to be such a big deal out of these different, out of different uh, occasions. As these occasions come up, we're both just so grateful and thankful that the place that we're in, that we know how we feel for each other. We, we show this every day. So we don't really get into doing anything extra, extra special. If it's done, of course, I'm going to appreciate it even more. If he say, hey, let's do this, let's do that, then I'm on board. I'm all, I'm all for it. But um, dad is very laid back, and I've said that to you guys several times over and over again. So anything out of his ordinary, uh, he's not going to go too far. He's not going to venture too far out of his ordinary you know, we'll go out to dinner, he'll get me a car, he'll put some cash in it, and, you know, he's happy. He he might, you know, if I say something about something that I want or I was thinking about getting, he listened very well. He listened and he, and he picks up on stuff like that. And I don't even think he, you know, really be listening or I'm not even putting it out there for him to do it. It's just that's his style. He's very old school. He will sit back and listen to what I'm saying, and he may not even respond at the time, but I look up a couple of days later, or maybe that same day later on, and, and he's went and got whatever it was I was thinking about getting myself. So he, you know, that's that's what he does. That's that's what he does. So I appreciate that. But you know, like I said, at this stage in our life, I don't need anything. Uh, he don't need anything. We got all the materialistic stuff that we could want and need. So it's it's nothing that you know that I need. And the stuff that he just does for me daily is is so much more valuable to me, so much more appreciated. And I, you know, I I think he feels the same way. You know, with with what I do, um, just on a daily basis. So yeah. So I don't know. But it definitely feels good to be at this stage in our life. Uh, just basically sitting back, relaxing, enjoying each other. You know, just just taking it in and enjoying it. You know, a lot of times when you get past 50 or 60, you really, really just kind of settle in your ways. And, you, you know, it's kind of like you become like a roommate or something. I mean, we, we definitely don't, not at that stage, we still do. You know, we're always out together. I don't care if it ain't nowhere but going to Walmart. <laughs> he gonna ask me, you wanna go to Walmart? You wanna ride to Walmart? <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Um, and that's cool. I'll be like, yeah, let's go. I love going to Walmart or anywhere. Because, you know, just those few minutes or an hour that we're going to do whatever, that's the time, that's our time together. And all they're gonna do is go in the store and, 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 and talk about people. This man talk about everybody. I be cracking up. I be like, Dad, stop. Stop talking about <laughs> But he does. He does. He be talking about people. But um, it's all good. I'm, I'm looking forward to this anniversary. And I'm, I'm glad we have gotten to where we are. And to spend this much time with one person is um, it's a blessing. Because it's hard work, guys. Being married is hard work. But I promise you, I promise you, if you can get past the 20-year mark, <laughs> and that's a long time. Some folks just be hoping to get past 10 years, 5 years, 7 years. Because you know they say that 7 years to each year. But 
I'm telling you, I promise you, if, if you're if you love someone enough that you can tolerate all the things that works your nerve, because usually those are the people that works your ass nerve, and you get past 20 or 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, oh, it's all gravy from there. It's all great because it, for one thing, hell, y'all both just too tired to even even muscle up the script to be trying to argue and fuss. And what is there to argue and fuss about when you get to be that at that age? Because when normally when you don't reach that milestone, anything over 20 years, you don't reach that rock. When you meet that milestone, you're already closing in on your fit on 50 or over. You know, like I said, dad and I are, are celebrating togetherness uh 46 years married 43 years what is there to be nothing there's nothing there's nothing to even be arguing about or nothing to even be looking at each other sideways about none of that so i'm enjoying this this time that we have right now i'm looking forward to just chilling the rest of our life together sitting out on the porch enjoying the grandkids the great grands and just and just blessed and grateful and, and take it in every moment. Like I said, I don't care if they had come in here and say, hey, let's go to the public. Let's go to Kroger. Yeah, I'm going to go. <laughs> I may not want to go, but I'm, I'm going to take advantage of that time for us to, to be together because he wants me to go or he wouldn't ask me. So, you know, just take advantage of it. But I know marriage is hard. I know I've done it. <laughs> I know. But, um, yeah, I just want to throw that out there to, to you all and to myself and for me to show my gratitude towards the man that I've been with, the man that I love so deeply and I care so much about. Um, I don't even know if Dad, Dad probably ain't even going to watch this video, but I'm going to tell him. I'm definitely going to tell him. But I just wanted to uh, just put that out there. All right. Hey, as you go by your day, be kind to everybody that you come in touch with. I don't care where you at. Be kind to people. You know, and enjoy the moments. Enjoy the moments. The weather is great. We're just getting ready to, to get into uh, May, start counting down for this really summer, summer. So just have a great time, okay? All right, Brian's gonna check you guys out next time around.